You better not be the one to doubt us. Cause we've been putting in the hours. We only taking what was ours. So you better not be the one to doubt us. Cause we gon' blow your mind We gon' blow your mind We gon' blow your mind Okay, okay Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports Game time getting close and for this guy He's hoping for the same result they came away with last week that was a win for them, and the touchdown he scored on the ground was a big help to their cause. It's the Seahawks going up against the Rams. Now, for the first time since December 24, 1990, it's time for a Los Angeles Rams home game. And here to call it for our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, we haven't had NFL football in this city for 22 years, but football is back here in Los Angeles. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on... Try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now they try the right side here. And there's a flag on the field. And he's brought down after a good game. Holding offense. Second down, they need less than a yard to pick up the first. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. They lost four there, and it's third down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. Now it's Wilson. He finds his man, Baldwin. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Brandon, that play ended so fast, it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner, and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. They'll give it to him right up the gun. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On 
second down, they'll try and run the counter. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Michael Brockers in on the stop. So here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Throwing is Wilson. Finding time. And that is incomplete. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. <laughs> And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Here we go with second and seven. One receiver left, two to the right. Now Wilson. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They come out here in the eye. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. And a cutback, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned... The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Call it a gain of a couple there as it'll leave him with a second and just three. 
Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The All-Pro from 2015, Aaron Donald, in there to drop him with his first sack of 2016. Third and long, it's Wilson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Oh, he trucked him. That one good for 12 yards. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. And that'll bring up fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. And this is incomplete. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. this up over the 15-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They'll run it now out of the gun. Pushes over him. Now that's just not right. Cuts right. And now the rookie's free. 30, the 20, 10, 5, and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? the Seahawks offense now they get ready to come back onto the field they built a good first half lead now they have a chance to add on to it and what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively on second down, Wilson looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he's brought down. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Wilson, it's caught outright by Graham. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do, and it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Offense comes to the line now. First and ten. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think there's a lesson there. Some days you're just having a really tough time, and for the defense, today has been that day. But after that play, what do you... And he's going to be taken down here. Back across midfield, three yards away from midfield at the 47. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And he dropped it. Now it was tipped. Altered the ball a little bit, but he dropped it. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drop? I think it's leverage. Oh, the big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. And he will not be denied into the end 
end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. A great play there. His third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Seahawks capitalize. Now a handoff looking right. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on. It. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Back now in Los Angeles. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. On third down, Wilson finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. Ball may come your way. Fresh set of downs here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. He lost two there, and it's third down. So while the offense has had a big day, no one on that side of the ball is excited about seeing a loss like that. Their goal, to make every play positive. And when you have a bad one like that, your next goal is to not let it spiral into more. Tyler Lockett was the target there. Yep. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position, the ball comes out, you know, there. And that only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. They'll come out in the pistol. On second down, here's Wilson. And that one is incomplete. He just dropped it. But they're up big on the scoreboard, so maybe he can chuckle about later. Receivers work all the time on making sure they catch the ball, haul it into their bodies before they turn and run. A little bit of a loss of focus on that play. Here's Wilson to throw. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. He's going to let this one go deep. And got his man complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You've got the big lead. you got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. But right now, maybe they're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. More points for everyone if they win big. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. A great effort there with a career-high four-touchdown game. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get... Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They come into enemy territory, and I don't care what the matchup is in the National Football League. You're up like this late in the game on the road. This feels pretty good. Oh, it feels fantastic. Anytime you get a road victory in the NFL, that's a big-time accomplishment.
punishment and to do it this convincingly that just tears up the script that every home team has which is nobody comes into our house and pushes us around they took care of business today yeah they pushed around and now the final stages of this one and they'll lose a yard that time and that's going to lead to a third down and the offense moving quickly to the line. I don't know about you, partner, but I'm rubbing my eyes after that play. Did we just see that runner not get yardage? A big-time play by the defense. It does happen occasionally, even against the best running backs who are having big days. And that one results in 35 yards. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the times they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And how it turns out, it turns out. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. And quickly, they get to the line. Now it's Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. That one good for 10 yards. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They come out here in the eye. And they'll go on the ground. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. Yeah, That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Seahawks ruin the Rams' grand return to L.A. As we say so long. Just a bunch of poor boys, daddies, girls, children of the cornfield Trying to turn a shift job into a dollar bill We wear the muddy boots, stay true to how we're raised Ain't nothing about us fake You know we're straight out of that dirty south, dirty roads Nobody got no money, got them signed up Pickup trucks whistling